Hello, my name is Felix Franken. I just want to greet all of you to the company. Me and my friend Jack are both very excited about working with all of you. Here at Bunny Smiles, we believe that all it takes to achieve our dreams is hope. Would you like to achieve this dream with us? Great! As of now, our team isn't very big, just like our budget. But hey, we have hope, and in my opinion, that's all that matters. Greetings, Felix here. I really just wanted to give all of you dedicated BSI employees a small farewell message. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope to see all of you in a few months. It, it's crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. The Cyberfund tech deal, the Bonds Burgers project, it's incredible. I never thought I, we, would have made it far. And I'm proud of all of us. You all should feel proud, too. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next year. <laughs> All right, it's... yeah... <laughs> messed up. <laughs> it, it, it's been so long since I last used one of these. Last time I used this, I was driving. In, in the same conditions. I, I, I messed up. I, I have a problem. And, uh, and this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember. The, the first time I, I got drunk, I, I don't remember most stuff. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's probably why I carry this, this recorder with me. So, that, that's probably why I'm recording this in the first place. Because I know. <laughs> I know I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll think this is all just a nightmare. <laughs> but, and Molly are okay. <laughs> but. <laughs> But they're mad. They're not. They were just joking. <laughs> Jack. Oh God, what am I going to tell Jack? He, he would be devastated. <laughs> that, that's why I buried him. Just, just the idea of Jack. Seeing what happened to him. Jack's been the best friend I've ever had. I'd, I'd never do that to him. That's the point when the when the accident occurred. I just I just panicked and I buried him in the forest. Saint Juana, Saint Juana's forest, the forest next to the the road, the road in which the accident occurred. I I, I can't even I can't remember where I buried him. gonna do now? <laughs> the restaurant's gonna open next month. Oh,
Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bonds Burgers. These are the showstoppers. Bon, Shaw, Buzu and Banny, a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Around this fun and magical journey we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot maintenance and repair, and learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you.
Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you, the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the Relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bonds Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bonds Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smiles storage facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smiles uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your BSI ID card. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think, do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern? Check. Snacks? Check. Key? Check. Camera? Check. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Alright, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bonds Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide... Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. 
Charles Burger Restaurant. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. How odd. I remember we visited this room already. By the time the lady entered the backstage as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful.
I am using the camera because I am planning to buy Mary with a ski leaf suit. I'm sure whatever this ski hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door, labeled back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Uh, I'm just this is bigger than I thought. I don't think I have enough time, so I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. After a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff, I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kinda weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some onion skin with traps, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and uh, this, this, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, as you can see here, there are some uh, spare heads. Nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> well, this is a bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, uh, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. Oh, this is the last door. I am. I've never seen this clown thing before. It's, it's really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed, so I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed, but my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties, like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out.
challenge, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out or at least catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to 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 get out. The rabbit is starving. 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 Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is 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 is. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have an sleepover with them, he has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't forget any guests. Bon invited Shah, Bozu, and Oh, that must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bon spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he hoped <laughs> and friends watched the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Once the night dropped, they all... I've been driving for 20 minutes, and I can't find the place. 
probably made it to the location, I think. This has got to be it. Anyway, so, Chris told me this place hasn't been working since about 78, 79, somewhere around then, and that was four years ago, I think. So, chances are, it's going to smell horrendous.
You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. 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 Safety and pills. played it for a while. Thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate, too. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. I see. Uh, put my name over here then. So, fuck. Oh, shit, I can't go back. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> huh. All right, gang, gather around. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is it, Bob? 
Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Any oh, oh, I know, I know, ask me, please, I know, ask me! Anyone else aside from Benny? <sighs> Alright, Benny, what day is it today? Right, today is the annual fruit festival! We do a huge party on the restaurant every year! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys want fruits, right? Uh, no. Oh, heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh, no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? Oh, you dumb salamanders. Hey, well, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favor and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! Alright, Pete. We'll help. That'll be fun. All of us working. Really? What? Well, what do we want me? The hippo. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the, uh, the artwork. I don't know why, but there is something about it that seems, uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Right. I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time playing later on. Mm, alright. Okay, okay. So you use this thing to move around. Mm, okay. And you use these buttons to interact with stuff. Yeah. I have both. Yeah, I've played this game for a while, a few mm -hmm. years ago, and I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah? Yeah, this game looks very unfinished. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. That's strange, but then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. Yeah, when BSI installed these machines, they clarified that as well, but here's the thing. These glitches are very creepy, if I'm totally honest. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. I know you're into that BSI? kind of... BSI? Funny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before? I mean, that company has been pretty relevant these past few weeks, didn't you hear? What? What happened? Some weird rumors and shit. Apparently there was this one employee that drove to some forest a few days ago. Not too far away from here, actually. He hasn't been seen around ever since he drove to that place. Really? Yeah. The word got out quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. Well, what's his name? Um... Brian? I think. Well, I hope he's doing alright. Same. Well, who knows? Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town anyways. They would have found him by now. Reminds me of this other girl. N there's more? This young employee named Ashley. Young adult. Very pretty. <laughs> she became some sort of urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was never found. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still inside that place. Sounds like a made-up story to get little kids away from that forest. And we should probably just continue with the game. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of shit while playing some little child's game, right? You good, Sophie? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about, um... Anyways, so do I have to, like... Do I have to go to a certain character, or...? Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. Eh, I don't like this one. It looks boring. Aw, she's my favorite character. Oh well, it's up to you, really.
apples. I like apples too. <laughs> I like the clam one. Alrighty, press this button. Uh, <laughs> See, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. You know, I keep thinking about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. This game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Ah. Uh. Sorry, um, probably just boring you with random thoughts of mine. I'll stop. No, 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 not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, alright. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah, yeah, Hi, Barn. Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything perfect. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the big- Alright, good track. Now we need- Love this. Is that clear even there? Alright, how do I... This game is very broken, <laughs> more than I thought. Do I have to... Oh, I see. What's that?
Jenny? I don't know, the game just, it just crashed. I was playing and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Huh. Yeah, it was so weird, like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. <laughs> what, so you think this game is haunted or something? I, I don't know. The time where I was playing and there would be times which I would do certain stuff, that would cause the game to glitch and display some bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. Alright. Good night, Sophie. Good night. Alright, let's start this. Fuck. Don't tell me I lost all my progress, cause I... I'm not entering that clan level again. I think... This is a save where the glitch occurred, and I really feel like I should dig deeper into this. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so... Yeah. Huh. Let's go. Those are pigs. I give you. Okay, so, first of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. What if I mean by if I open the cage? I think it would be really funny. I think it would be really, really funny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna open the cage now. Yeah. entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. Okay, so basically we'll have to catch the pigs, I think. Okay, huh. Gotta find the keys for these doors. I'm already starting to notice a few errors. the blue key under that coach. Mm, gotta find a way to get to it though. Wait, what if we take this? Shit, I 
worked. Alright, should lead to this door. know what to do. Yeah, there we go. I noticed that these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something. Like, if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something, because... Especially because these have all occurred when I interact with the characters, could it have something to do with them? I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. Our technical support audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I decided to stay and help the employers clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange, especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Walton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing alright. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, the birthday party, uh, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these, uh, it, especially in Bond. Uh, something something fell off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long.
uh, but that was very confusing and, and scary, but it felt like I was being told a story or a certain event. I mean, clearly I was, but, um, yeah. Thing is, the pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my childhood, and, like, I started taking them for a reason, but I really don't want to think about it. I shouldn't be reading this. On. What a wonderful surprise! I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> wonderful! You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? What do you think? Fantastic! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. It'll be lots of fun. Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it seem like the people shown on screen died. Lady! 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's play. Well done. Done. Oh dear. Well done. Congratulations! You're very good at this. Right, it's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences. <laughs> this one's a bit hard. Look at this image. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. Great job. Nope. <laughs> That's not the difference. No, nope. try again. Well, that's not the difference. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. No, nope. <laughs> that's not the difference. You spotted try a again. difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Look at this image. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. No, nope. <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, which You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted you a difference. Spotted a difference. Just so let's move on to the next image. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. No, nope. <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, which you spotted a difference. Good job. You No, nope. <laughs> that's not no nope. difference. That's not the difference. Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, I'm for the prizes! Missing, 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 missing,
starting to make more sense to me. I mean, as much sense as something like, something like this can make. <sighs> These are all faces of uh, people, people that I think I knew when I was younger. I knew these people and for some reason my brain just forgot about them or what happened to them. I doubt they're alive anymore. I mean, maybe they are, but it's unlikely because I would have heard from them by now. And this, this game really tries to make it seem like these people died. Not in very pleasant ways either. I really don't want to think about it anymore, but Jesus. I, I genuinely don't know if digging deeper into this is the best decision, but curiosity is killing me right now. Heavens, this place is so beautiful. Hi, Vaughn. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Aw, oh, that's so sweet from you. However, I already finished my task, but you can stick around if you want. How about we play a game? That sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great, this is going to be fun. need to find a sheep. much fun playing with you. How about you had now?
still beautiful to you, Sophie. I know you found you. Oh. <laughs> One and come all, welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Tell me, what is it you would like to remember? Here goes nothing. <laughs> Holy shit. That's my old house. Hello, Bob. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. All that's left to do is change. I was wondering if you could do me and Rose a small favor tonight. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been nice. It's, it's, it's about uh, an emoli. They have a school event tonight. A school party and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork and Rose is um, taking Sophie to the dentist. We were wondering if you could pick them up for the event and take them home later. Tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. <laughs> sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for bothering your, your lifesaver, Felix. <laughs> it, it's nothing. Alright, so, I'll pick them up at 5 and get them home at 9. Well, it should be home by then. If it's not, you call me. Got it? Got it. I remember this conversation. For the 
this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find them, Sophie. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That was this. Ah, uh, this is... This just got so much deeper than I thought, and now I think I... I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I, I know all of them.
left till we get home. Not much. Just, just, just kind of lost, I think. Uncle Felix, what are you drinking? M-Y-Q. Our teacher says drinking is not right. No, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just feeling dizzy. It's, it's not that big of a deal, alright? Mm-hmm. Molly, we're, we're almost there. Don't you think you're driving too fast? Listen, I'm just... Uh, I, I'm just trying to get you to... I'm just trying to get you to home quickly, alright? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I'm not feeling too good right now, I really just, just, I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright, we get that today wasn't the best for you, we understand, everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Thanks Molly. Five new messages. Felix, pick up the phone. Now, I need you to pick up the phone. It's been three hours since I told you to get Ed and Molly home. What happened to my shoulder? If anything happened, Felix, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to contact you all night. I've been calling everyone for you. But what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know, where are they? Where did you... Something you forgot to remember. They've been waiting for you. <laughs> 